Hello, in this session we will look at your for each meta argument. So in the last session we looked at your count meta argument which can be used to create multiple uh, resources with the same configuration. We also have this for each meta argument which can be used to do the, do the same thing. Uh, so let's look at this. So by default one resource block creates one real infrastructure. So in the last session we looked at how uh, one resource block block can create only one uh, resource so if you want multiple resources uh, we, we make use of the count meta argument however sometimes you may want to manage several objects without writing a separate block for each one so terraform has two ways to do this one is your count and the other is your for each so in the last session we have looked at the count meta argument in this session we will look at the for each meta argument right so if a resource or module block includes a for each argument whose value is a map or a set of strings terraform creates one instance for each member of that map or set so the main difference that you have between count and for each is that your count uh, makes use of the same configuration to launch the instances so let's say in the last session we said count equals to three now what terraform did was it launched three instances with the same ami and same instance type now for each can be used when you want to launch three instances however each with different configuration meaning one instance with let's say ami1 the second instance with ami2 the third instance with ami3 that is you have a map or you have a set of strings then you can make use of your for each meta argument so a resource uh, block cannot use both count and for each so you can use either one of them we cannot use both within the same resource block. So for each is a meta argument defined by the Terraform language and you can use this with your module block as well as with any resource block. The for each meta argument accepts a map or a set of strings and creates an instance for each item in that map or set. So here for example if you can see uh, we are creating AWS IAM users and then I'm using a for each so meaning so that's my user 1 user 2 user 3 user 4 and then in the name I'm telling each dot key so basically in this case what will happen is instead of defining four resource block for the four resources I'm creating uh, one resource block however I'm using this for each so each of these will be considered as uh, a unique a user and then we are you can think of this as a loop so here if you see each dot key so this is considered as a key so first it will create user 1 then user 2 then user 3 then user 4 and then so on so this becomes a list of strings or a set of strings you can also create a map which can be used to uh, you know create multiple resources for that so this is the for each meta argument that we are using and here is the attribute we are using for the for each meta argument so each as, uh, instance has a distinct infrastructure associated uh, with it and each is separately created updated or destroyed when the configuration is applied so let's see an example for this so here i have the configuration files so this is my uh, provider block then here I have my uh, variables block. Now I want you to observe this uh, particular variable which is the image ID. Now for the type, the data type, I have given this as a map. That means I am going to declare a map of strings for this particular variable. Now if you look at the uh, Terraform uh, vars file, so let's look at this file and here you will see that for the image ID variable, I have declared three key and value pairs. So this is a key which is user defined and the value I have taken it from the console. So in this case, if you see, I have, I'm using three different AMIs. So one is the Ubuntu AMI, the other is the Amazon Linux AMI and then we have the Windows AMI. So again, so this means I will be launching three instances, but with three different AMIs. This is where we can make use of your for each meta argument. So now if you look at the main.tf file this is what I am using so again we are declaring only one resource block and then we are using this for each meta argument and then I'm telling read my variable so read my uh, variable image underscore id so what this will do is this will uh, get the values the map of values and then for the ami 
I'm using my uh, for each attribute. So I'm telling each dot value. So in this case, this is the key and this is the value. So basically what we are doing here is we are going to do a loop. So first what my Terraform will do, it will take this key and value and for the AMI, I'm telling take the value of each of this meta argument and then here in the tags, if you see, I'm referring the key. So for the uh, tag for the instance, we will be using server underscore image one. Then it will take the second key value and then the third key value. So basically, again, three instances will be created, but each of the instances will be using different AMIs. So this is where we can make use of your for each meta argument. Again, when you want to manage multiple resources, but with different configurations. So let's uh, generate a plan and let me show this. So here in the plan, you can see this is going to create three resources for us. So here you see three to add and uh, from here. So you can see this is for each example image one. So that's one AMI. Here is the second AMI and here is the third AMI. So this also does the same thing as your count meta argument. However, the count meta argument create resources with the same configuration. So it will use the same AMI, same instance type. Everything will remain the same, but with multiple resources. But with a for each meta argument, we can uh, create a key value pair, right? So we can create multiple resources, but with different configurations. So let's apply this. And let's wait for the resources to be created. Just waiting for the resource to be created. And done. So now if you go to the console, so here, let me refresh this and you will see that. So let me just filter this to make it clean. So here you can see. I have three instances that's server image one, server image two and server image three. So this is basically the keys that we have defined in our uh, terraform.tfvars uh, file. So here image one, image two, image three. So that is what I've used as my tags, right? So you can also look at the value. So this is the Ubuntu AMI. Then if we go to the second instance, this will be my Windows. AMI and if you go to the third instance, this will be my Amazon Linux AMI. So this is where we can make use of the for each meta argument. So once again, for each can also be used to manage uh, multiple resources, however, with different configuration. So you can think of this as uh, doing a loop. So based on the key value that you have defined, Terraform will do a loop and create that many resources with the specified configurations. That's all for this uh, session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.